the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, and it is my pleasure to be with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And Memphis is where we'll be going just moments from now, as the Grizzlies will be going up against the Denver Nuggets. Well, for Denver, they know it's always tougher winning on the road, facing a solid team, but one with weaknesses. They'll look to take advantage and steal the win. And an extra minute here. Uh, Shaq, one of the most exciting moves to watch in basketball, a slashing drive to the rim. Who would you say are the league's best slashers? I'm going to be quick because I'm not really a guard. I know Kenny probably has a couple things to say. Let me go with Russell Westbrook, freak athlete, attack mentally. Monte Ellis, elite quickness, terrific touch around the rim. James okay. Harden, strength, aggressive, ability to draw contact. Tyreek Evans, that's his whole game. Wow. I thought you weren't going to you, – how'd you come up that quickly with Man, those guys? Because I'm trying to give you time to talk, baby. Man, so I, I'm going to slow it down. I would say, man, league MVPs, obviously, Durant and LeBron. You know, those guys, with their mobility and height, you know, LeBron James is like a bullet train, so it's almost impossible to start, stop him. So I'll end it there, man, but that was quick. Russell, who'd you say? Russell, who'd you say? Russell Westbrook, Monte Ellis, James Harden, and Tyreek Evans. Wow. Huh. It's impressive. Quite the list. Uh, thanks for joining us. How did he act like he knew the question you were asking? We ask go him. courtside with, with Kevin Harlan for the call. Somebody was feeding him the answer. A great view of the top of Memphis. Always a welcoming city. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. We're at the home of the Grizzlies, the FedEx Forum in beautiful Memphis, Tennessee. And, of course, Courtney Lee, even without him over the short term, they've really come together and are playing some pretty good basketball. Well, Kevin, no question it's a um, risky deal to make because you can sometimes sour your fans when you do that. I mean, trading one of the most popular players on the team is always high risk, no matter what you get in return. Yeah, but it's a trade that I'm sure a lot of fans will second guess. Clearly a bold move, but as a GM, these are the things that are supposed to happen. You're going to bring scrutiny, and you just have to wait and see how this plays out. You have to focus on the big picture and what's going to be best for your organization moving forward. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Kenneth Fareed is out there with the bodyguard. Then there's Boss. Then there's Oladipo. Here's Murray. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. It's hauled in by Adams. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, major problems at the charity stripe in that game. They just could not convert their free throw. And that makes it hard, makes it hard to win, especially on the road. You get a course of about 20,000 yelling at you every time you put one off the rim. Yeah, that's got to wear on you. Here's Murray. The Grizzlies making the shot. Dishes to Oladipo. Pass to Jokic. Back to Oladipo. Six to shoot. Pulls it up. It's hauled in by Adams. On defense, Denver. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough, but to get blown out like that? I know. I mean, I'm with you there. It just seemed as though they were sleepwalking their way through that entire game. It was, in my estimation, just inexcusable. The Grizzlies shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. And, Kevin, it's something they've been working very hard to correct in the change. I mean, they know how important it is to fix that inability at the free throw line. The first one falls. You know, Dave Yeager, the coach for the Grizzlies, has really become a big-name coach quite quickly. You know, he's worked his way up the Memphis coaching ladder and has had a ton of success early on in his career. So he hits one of two from the strike. 
and the success we've been mentioning with coach Dave Yeager. He was the second fastest active coach to get to 100 wins. And Kevin made his way in terms of coaching, started in the D League and other minor leagues before becoming an assistant with the Grizzlies and really was the architect, if you will, of the defense that his team is so well known for. He's done a lot for this franchise and looks to be on track to become their winningest coach ever. The jump hook for Reed, no good. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Here's Stokes. He's coming off a 13-point game against Oklahoma City. Yeah, but I also thought the rebounding was impressive. He got some huge boards in that game. Murray, the pass to Jokic. The fader. Bounces high off the rim and drops. I tell you what, guys, it's going to be a tough day on this defense if he's got the A game rolling tonight. Now here's Evans. 14 points from him the last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And he also was a table setter in that game, Kevin. Just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that one. And so here's Denver. The Grizzlies making the shot. Off the pick. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now, here's Oladipo. His last outing, he had eight points. Takes the three. Can't hit. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. And going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. And, and as you would expect, they came out on top in last season's series against this club. But no reason to expect anything different this time around. Exactly. Guys, they're clearly the better team, but you can't take anybody for granted. They're all NBA players. They get their checks twice a month across the league. So you've got to come prepared and focused and ready to play. Here's Jokic. The Grizzlies making the shot. Pass to the bodyguard. From the top of the key. And it comes off the front of the rim. Defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. It's Allen with the drive. It's stolen. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Here's Murray. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Clark looking around the league. There's no team that teams want to play less than the Memphis Grizzlies. They just wear you down. Well, they play a physical brand of basketball. They play hard. Everybody's on the same page. And even if you beat the Grizzlies, they take a lot out of you in terms of how they try to wear you down. And he makes the first. And the Grizzlies played so well against all the other playoff teams. Part of it is that they just have a style that matches up well with anyone. And so Murray nails both of them. You know, that's the thing with the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, there isn't a team that gives them too much trouble anywhere in the league. They're good at home and on the road. They're used to playing in tight, low-scoring games, and they create that situation with their deliberate style. Nice shot by Evans. Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook, really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. There's the pass to the bodyguard. Screen by Fareed. Oh, 
Here's Jokic. Adams defending. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. And let's take this opportunity to show you the shooting guards with the highest percentage from the floor over the last month. Second, Victor Oladipo. You know, in tight or outside, these are all very reliable and consistent shooters. It's a safe option to put the ball in their hands and let them create something for themselves. Well, it does smooth things out for a team to have a two-guard like one of the guys we're seeing there. I mean, you don't need to draw up anything fancy for these fellas. Just call an isolation, and they'll get you something good. And here are the Nuggets now. The Grizzlies making the shot. It's stolen by Adams. Here's Speedy, guarded by Oladipo. And the wide-open shot from Evans. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. It's good, and he threw contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Memphis. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Green, he's checked in for Stokes. And Tudrick in for Tony Allen. And Victor Oladipo, after a solid rookie campaign, really took it up a notch last season, even after missing Clark the first nine games with that facial fracture. I love this kid's gravitas. I mean, uh, he's got a presence about him. His percentages improved across the board. Field goal, three-point free throws. But I like his work ethic and his confidence. Here's Oladipo after Jeff Green's bucket. And Oladipo kicks to Gordon. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And for Victor Oladipo, guys, last season you saw him continue to make strides in this game. He has the feel to be one of the best guards in the league, and he's on the right track right now. Very excited for his future. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. As you said about Oladipo, he has a bright future in this league after playing at Indiana, already stepping into the leader uh, role with mm -hmm. the Orlando Mansion. Yeah, and what I like most about his game and the way he plays is that he contributes really in every facet. I'll use a baseball term. He's a 5-2. I mean, he really oh. does a little bit of everything well, and he can make a big impact even when his shot isn't falling, be it on the glass with his passing or his defense. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Evans outside. He feeds it to Adams. Just five on the clock. Back to Evans. From about 19 feet. Offensive rebound. Green, the screen. Feeds it to Udrich. They set the screen. And that's Evans penetrating. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Evans has got six. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low. And I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but... Well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Murray, good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Speedy the pass to Green. He dishes it to Evans. Green the screen. Knocked loose. Udrich loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Udrich has got his first basket of the night. The Nuggets trail by five. 
Kicks it to Murray. Pass to Jokic. Here's Barton. Covered by Evans. Murray the pass to Jokic. They set the pick. Campazzo. And it's off from three-point range. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Clark, shots be falling. That's for sure. They're scoring with a tremendous amount of confidence. <laughs> Went straight playground old school there, partner. Offensive rebound. And then Gordon with the dunk. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? The Grizzlies making a switch here. Lights checked in, and Denver also making a switch. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Boss, and the Grizzlies leading by five. Speedy the pass to Evans. And there's the feed to Green. Fader on the way. Gordon with the defensive effort. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. On deep. Can't hit. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Right, dishes to Udrich. Some nice passing there by Memphis. They find Jay on the way. That doesn't go either for Green. The Nuggets trail by five. Here's Barton. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the Y. It could be a three-point play. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. And watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. You know, there's been some improvement in his free throw shooting this year. His percentage has taken a little jump compared to last season. Exum, he's checked in for Speedy. Free throw good from Barton. Memphis has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Evans kicks to Exum. Back to Evans. The dish to right. Here's Udrich. And another miss by Memphis. The Nuggets have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Jokic. With the fadeaway. The Grizzlies pull it in. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Got it. Nice one there from Exum. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. The Nuggets trail by four. Chandler outside. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the first. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Jokic. Campazzo trains the three-pointer. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. And for Memphis, they're shooting it from their comfort zone so far. In this one, 57% from the field. Evans goes in. That's good. Evans has got eight points. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Denver's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Dishes it to Barton. Now the pass to Jokic. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. He has six. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Come on, come on, come 
Evans outside. Green, the screen. Evans gets to Green. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Green's got his second basket of the night. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Feeds to Barton. Pass to Jokic. Drives it from nine. Can't get it to go. Exum. Can't hit. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Grizzlies lead by three. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And a moment now to hear from Stephen Adams as he reflects back in life growing up as the youngest of 18 children back in New Zealand. <laughs> Hard to imagine growing up in such a huge family, but it sounds like maybe it prepared him for life in the NBA. Yeah, got him outside of himself and toughened him up a little bit. No question about that. Wow, 18? That's... Yeah. that's Mind-boggling. That is amazing. Yeah. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you guys think? Well, they dictated tempo with their defense and, and been able to force some turnovers. Yeah, and you know, they've also done a good job, Greg, on their end of the floor by not throwing the ball away. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So out there for the Nuggets right now, Boss is out there with Oladipo. Then it's Aaron Gordon. Then it's the bodyguard. And it's Fareed in at the five spot. Well, when you think about perimeter defense, to me, Clark, it's, it's Tony Allen. He is the poster boy for that. He'll go out of his way to remind you he's a first-team all-defensive player as well. He can back up everything he says. Yeah, and nobody works harder. I mean, he gets up into you. Even on the ball, he can come up with steel. And, and the Tony Allen guys... For me, his strength and quickness allows him to pretty much guard anybody on the perimeter. I mean, he'll even defend guys like Kevin Durant, a half foot taller, and does as good a job as anybody. That's good from Oladipo. And, and Tony Allen, not really a shooter per se, but, but he gets his buckets through activity, cutting to the rim, garbage baskets. I mean, he can compromise your, your spacing at times, but the trade-off is his great defense. Speedy's checked in for the Grizzlies. Oladipo hits them both. Memphis leading by four. Kicks it to Green. They set the pick. He feeds it to Stokes. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. All right, now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Murray, the pass to Gordon. Screened by Fareed. The kick out to Oladipo. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Oladipo's got seven points in the game. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Here's Stokes. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh. hammering down with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the lead with the dunk like that. And so here's Denver. 
Trailing by five. That's good. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Allen, right side. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. It's Allen with the drive. Kenneth Fareed pulls it in. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And the shot is good. The Grizzly lead has been cut to just one point on the basket from Bodyguard. Outside, Green. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Memphis moving that ball around. Got a hand on it. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Let's take this chance to look at the teams that have been the league's most efficient passers this past month. The Nuggets third. The last few weeks have shown these guys that being patient with your passing can earn you some easy looks and baskets. Excellent teamwork. The more you do it, the more you're rewarded, and it becomes contagious. Here's Speedy. He's coming off a 31-point game against Oklahoma City. And equally as impressive, the playmaking. Just sensational. The way he was seeing the court and making the game easy for his teammates. Here's Murray following the score by Memphis. Screen by Fareed. He kicks it to Murray. The three ball. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Now here's Allen looking for his first basket still in this one. A jump hook, and that's good off the glass that time. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Oladipo. He has seven. Gordon dishes to Murray. Shot clock at six. And a great job by the D contesting that shot and forcing the miss. Speedy the pass to Stokes. They set the screen. And Green gets it to go. And now a four-point Grizzly lead. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Oladipo. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. There's Speedy. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. The defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of misses for him. And it looked to me as though he just never was comfortable from the foul line. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Victor Oladipo. Guys, this offense very effective. Going right at them. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Here's Speedy. He's got 11. Stokes. 
And it's Denver with the rebound. Gordon's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Rivers. And it's good. Fought through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. A free throw drops for Rivers. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. Here's Speedy. That one is good again. He's six right from the floor with the basket. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Kiwi Stephen Adams, one of the toughest players down on the ground. And Kevin Adams is not afraid to get under somebody's skin. He's pretty strong defensively, too. Rivers with it. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Pass to the body. And Fareed kicks to Gordon. And for Aaron Gordon, so much fanfare entering the 2014 draft selected fourth overall, which was actually a couple of slots higher, I think, Greg, than many experts thought. Now, I agree. And, you know, a lot of people obviously liked him, but Orlando clearly loved him and had very high hopes for this young man. And, of course, the injured foot, only 11 games a season ago and, and never really got back on track. I know Udrick, he's checked in for Memphis. Free throw good from Gordon. That one is no good. Memphis leading by six. Here's Allen. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Allen's got four this quarter. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Now here's Fareed. 11 points for him in that last game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Here's Jokic. Cannot hit. Now Memphis takes it the other way. And they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part a huge component of winning games it's not a glamour stat but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team the Nuggets trail by 10 here's Murray up on top defended by Allen Murray good really aggressive play there taking it to the rack against the big fella you know Greg aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size equation Here's Speedy. He's got 17. He dishes it to Adams. The feed to Allen. Here's Speedy. Stokes the pass to Udrick. Goes up again. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. It goes on Kenneth Fareed. The Grizzlies shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Two shots. The free throw drops for Stokes. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can keep getting to the free throw line. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Brandon Wright's checked in for Adams. Evans comes in for Allen. And it's Dante Exum in for Speedy. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Denver with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Passes it to Jokic. 
The shot by Chandler, wide open. Misses off the left iron. But the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And you know, guys, Dante Exum is such a fluid, versatile athlete, really shows great promise, has tremendous size and length for a point guard, can also play the two. His rookie season last year, though, a mixed bag. The Nuggets trail by 13. And there's the pass to Jokic. Six to shoot, and he gets the bucket. Eight points for him. For Dante Exum, Greg, last season he didn't shoot the ball that well, and his turnover rate was what you might expect from a rookie, but his defense, his defense was good. In fact, borderline excellent at times. That's a great point, Kevin. And you know, what I like about Exum, when his shot wasn't falling, you know, he didn't allow it to affect the other facets of his game. He would find ways to contribute. And that's the kind of attitude that so many scouts got excited about when they were talking about this guy in the first place. And although not a block officially, it, it might as well have been his ability to react and, and alter the shot. Greg, I don't think there was any doubt about it. His defense threw him off on that shot. The Nuggets have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Free throws good from Barton. And the Grizzlies leading by nine. Udrich dishes to Evans. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Clearly, they've been outclassed in the paint, really at both ends of the floor. And so here's Denver. There's a good screen. Here's Jokic. Shot clock at five. And the shot is good. Ten points for him. Memphis has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Exum's shot is off. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Now the dish to Rivers. Down low. Here's Jokic. It's rebounded by Memphis. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Exum kicks to Udra. Just five to shoot to the right side. Here's Evans. And count the basket, he was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. And guys, Tyreek Evans is so versatile. Great instincts, well-developed skill set. He can beat you every way you turn. That one misses for Evans. And back to Tyreek Evans, he's a big, muscular guy for a wing. That seven-foot wingspan, that arm span we've all admired and read so much about. Too strong for off guards, too quick for small forwards. He's, he's kind of got a ubiquitous position. He does. And Kevin, you know, it's funny. A, a lot of people have tried to place him in a box mm -hmm. in terms of his position. Instead of just saying he's a basketball player, the guy's strong. He's got tremendous physical attributes. Combine that with the ball handling and his confidence, and it gives you an interesting mix. I mean, he's one of the more unique, multifaceted guys we have in our league. And the shot is good. The Grizzly lead has been cut down to 11 points with that bucket from Barton. And for Memphis, they're shooting around 60% on the night. Amazing work offensively so far. And that's Evans penetrating. 
And there's the call on Austin Rivers. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Oh, no. Not the guy you want to put on the line, Kevin. He's an ATM from the free throw line. The throw good. Tyreek Evans. What a great game for Evans in this one. 13 points and five assists. He's just been impossible to contain. He's been unreal in this game. Utterly fantastic is how I would categorize that performance, Greg. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Denver. It's Chandler High Post. 56 seconds left in the first half. Chandler a screen. Oladipo goes in. He got right to the cup using that screen. Oladipo's got six here in this quarter. And fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Right sets a screen. And Udrich kicks to right, and that one is stuffed right through. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. Pass to Jokic on the top of the key. That one a little long, and the Grizzlies leading by 13. Shot and game clock separated by five. To the left wing. Right sets a screen. Here's Exum. He kicks it to right from 13. Martin with the rebound. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. From past the arc, the shot is off. And so that's the end of the first half. Grizzlies out in front. They lead by 13. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. For the Grizzlies, the first quarter was pretty even. At the end of the period, they held a three-point lead. The second quarter got a lot more exciting for them as they were putting up big numbers and find themselves way out in front here at the half. What do you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Grizzlies? Well, in terms of running a smooth, efficient offense, they've been as good as it gets. The looks they've created have been high percentage. The ball is moving, guys are rotating. That's what gotten them those good looks, Ernie. And this is the reason they got that nice lead. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Denver? Percentage-wise, they were in the low 30s. That's right, low 30s from beyond the arc. That won't get it done. Every team in the league now relies on some level of consistent production from the three-point line. But if you dug yourself a hole and you aren't a three-point shooting team, that needs to change. All right, that is going to wrap up our halftime report as it's just about time for the start of the third quarter. 